Anyway, Corbin, uh, before we do this, uh, two real quick questions. Do you know what a personal injury lawyer is? Good. Second question, Corbin. Now, some kids these days, you know, aren't used to being outside that much anymore. And they, they get to my show, they're emotionally unstable. As soon as I lasso them, they start to cry. And it really harshes the vibe. <laughs> you were not your brother? <laughs> your brother's right there. And then, Cry like a baby. He's your older brother wearing a very intelligent hat for a sunny day, and you're like dissing him. Wait. All right, fair enough. All right, you get to use the whip later. No problem. Recharge. All right, Corbin. All right. Well, anyway, you answered all my questions. Uh, here, take one step back, Corbin. They're right over the trap door. All right, Corbin. Let's see if I can get the uh, first part of this trick to work. <laughs> I wasn't aiming for your neck, but everyone seems into it. <laughs> right, stick your hands through and put it around your waist. There we go. All right, Corbin, arms out like this. Do not move your arms. I know. Straighten out your other arm. I'm going to try to backhand this one. Nice. Corbin, was that scary? Good, you'll be fine when the whips come out. Face that way. <laughs> Hands like this, Corbin, together in front of you. Good, so make it this one to work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Corbin, face me. One foot up. Up, up just a little bit. All right. Oh. What's this? Oh! <laughs> Said at the beginning, this works half the time. <laughs> Put out this one out of the side a little bit. There we go. That's where the loop went the last time. Yeah, keep moving your foot. That makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> easier for me. Put your other foot up. This is actually the hard one. The other one was supposed to be the easy one. Son of a biscuit. All right, don't fall over just yet. <laughs> Uh, I should have picked your brother. <laughs> I want to say it was not entirely my fault that sucked so hard. Anyway, all right. all right, Corbin, now we've come to the final part of hog tying a child. The part where everything can go sideways because the child can literally go whoop. Sideways. So what are you gonna do? Put your feet tied together. I'm gonna say ready jump. You're gonna do a dual jump in the air. Don't kick your heels back and do a practice of ready jump. That'll work. Ready? Go. Keep your feet tied together. Ready? Jump. Not again. No. Fine. All right. Put your feet together. Ready? Jump. We've come to your time to shine. You get to be an escape artist just like Harry Houdini. Audience, have you heard of Harry Houdini? Yeah! Have you heard of Harry Houdini? You have? Good, not every kid has. So we're going to see if you can escape from the rope in the count of seven. Do you think you can do it? Are you kidding? Audience, do you think Corbin can do it? Yeah! Too much confidence from the audience and too many jokes from Corbin. <laughs> there. All right. Uh, all right, Corbin, when we start counting, you start escaping. Ready? And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And Corbin, here is your prize. You get this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sticker. <laughs> Watch the movie? Which one? The new one or the original one? Watch the first one. That's the one you need to see. I saw it when I was your age. I don't know why my grandma thought that was okay to take an eight-year-old to that first movie. But anyway, give it a round of applause for four minutes. Alright, so I do have another trick I'm gonna try to do with a 50-foot rope. Believe it or not, I didn't buy this to tie up children. I'm gonna try to spin the whole thing at once. 
And uh, all of you can do me a big favor while I'm trying to spin it. Cheer and scream super loud as if something exciting is happening.